when you're filming a section and you're making a song, do you like think about your skating to the song in the section and like have that come into like the creative process when making the music? Um, yeah, I do. Uh, for this last part, I thought I was going to skate to something entirely different. Um, but I, I, it, again, it just didn't work. Like I was looking at myself to the sound and I was just like this, this isn't right. And I kind of also overdid it. I feel like for the last like couple years, I've been skating to a very similar sound. And I read in this one interview in regards to someone who was putting out um, skate parts that if you skate to the same sound constantly, your skating can come off one noted. And that was super inspired and super inspiring to like switch it up. Also, my girlfriend was like, I'll give you unlimited cheekles if you skate to this song. And I was like, uh, okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> You just blew my mind with, the- with a few things that you said right there, but I want to like take it chronologically. That first one um, about like, if you skate to the same, what was it? If you skate to the same type of music, it's the same, it's the same comes off the same sound. That is very interesting. Um, I, I feel like I always picture certain people skating to like a certain style of music all the time. And even like every day, everybody kind of feels is out now because you make Instagram reels and you add music to it on Instagram. You could pick whatever music you want pretty much. And a lot of times when I try to pick my own music for my reels, I get stuck into like one genre of music that kind of, I feel fits either my skating style or how it's filmed. And then I switch it up. Like one of my last reels, I use a completely different style of music and I'm like, I kind of like it, but it's so different that it kind of just almost turned me off a little bit, but I still went with it anyway. And do you think people skating could go different ways like if you re-edited your last reflect edit to a completely different song like how you wanted to do like a rock song or something like that do you think it would work you think you'd be able to edit it to that style of music and make it and pull it off or no i i i i don't know i think i could edit it to like a three six track and make it look pretty pretty decent uh or like the music that i'm listening to uh like all the soundcloud artists that i love and listen to constantly um, but that part was really hard for me to edit to like just that alone. And I didn't give like, uh, many different genres a chance, um, when editing that it was like, all right, you're either skating to this, like dark horror Memphis sound that I'm always skating to, or here's this song and I had it edited and it looked good. Um, so I don't know. Sometimes it, you just get lucky. You like roll the dice and, uh, I thought it, I thought it worked for me, which was rare because I like was super insecure about using that song. Mm-hmm. Looking back at it, uh, it definitely worked, and um, it, yeah, like your style of skating now. Like more recently, I guess it's the same style of music generally for a lot of your recent stuff, and that's how I always picture your skating now. But like I'm thinking back on it and. You used to skate to like all sorts of hip hop. You used to skate to in the beginning Philly videos. You used to skate to like punk rock music because that's what Majet used to use in his videos and stuff too. So yeah. it, it's like interesting seeing the transition of like your beginning days skating to like punk rock music to like hip hop. And now, what would the genre call now that you would make your music? Like, what do you call that? Um, it's called in the world, it's called funk, P H O N K. Okay. Um, there's like a boss overlord leader who has like YouTube channels that play 24 seven. His name is Ryan Celsius. Uh, he calls himself the funk overlord. He's like the leader of the underground movement in that world. Okay. And he is so articulate in the way he speaks and the way he, prom- like I've listened to interviews of this guy. Uh, he is so innovative in the way he showcases the sound. And there's something that I'm probably attracted to that goes along with that. Like if you go to his like YouTube channel, you'll be watching like old cartoons, like in loop, or it could be like his trapping in Japan series where you're just in a car, like moving through the streets of Japan at night. And when you're listening to it, you're, you're like almost feeling the vibe. Um, So he's a, a leader in that world of like exposing new artists and where I get a lot of inspiration from musically. So he's a great dude. 
You know, I, I actually, I'm, I'm going to, in this, uh, there's a couple of like kind of abstract questions I want to ask you, but th this one is one I'm curious about, especially since we were touching on, uh, you know, things you like with Tate and, and Brain God, and now we're talking about music. And again, we've begun with fashion. Out of these top four things in a, an escape project, whether it be edit or full video piece, what do you think is the one through four priority one being the most important and significant thing? And then all the way down to four being the last between the skating itself, the videography, um, the music and, um, fashion? hold on, sorry. And the fashion. Yeah. Like, what do you all like right. that? So like, I'm curious what you think is like number one and, and because like that. obviously there's different priorities and in, in different projects and, and different things. So I'm, I'm curious and I'm, it's obviously always subject to change, but I'm, I'm curious where you're at now. So I would do uh, a, a great disrespect to Mr. Rawlinson if I didn't go with looks <laughs> first because I'm rocking, you know, this classic New York shit. Um, yeah, you got to look cool. You got to play the part. Uh, and everybody has their own idea of, what looks cool to them. So I appreciate all different kinds of uh, fashion uh, in skating. Everyone, to me, it's pretty cool. Um, I mean, you look at a video like Bebus and specifically I'm thinking of that guy's soils part, crazy fashion, crazy song, right. looked, looked amazing. And he might not be like your most um, advanced technical skater or hammer skater or anything like that but that dude he looked cool so look number mm -hmm. one um filming a strong number two uh i am very particular with how things are filmed um colin is awesome at it uh i think we do a good job and i don't think we're necessarily inspired by anything that we see because like I don't watch like a lot of other action sports films, um, particularly. Uh, I think we just have been holding a camera for thirty years, so we just like have this like I, I almost it's like second nature on how to capture Colin, and yeah, I think that it's second nature for him to capture me as well. And there's this trust and this bond that we've developed um, that has just gotten almost just better with every project in my opinion for sure of so filming um obviously i think skating will be three uh just because i mean skating <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> and then music like we just went over um you know you can come off one noted if you skate to the same thing so switch it up uh you know I could probably try and skate to a, as many different genres as possible. And if those three things that led into the last part of the music were sound, I think I could make it work. 